This is a very depressing prospect. Why? Because literally, you're a caveman. I'm married to a caveman. <laughs> Basically, yeah. But, but you it comes you with advantages. Me. You tricked me. How did I trick you? Because when we met, you were intuitive, you were sensitive, yet strong. No, it was all put on. You were. So I've been bamboozled. Well, you guys bamboozle us all the time. How so? With the lashes and the the cutlets and the and the the, the spanks and the everything. You 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 bamboozle us. I mean, it's equal bamboozlement going on. And we do it you for a reason. We do it because we need to I put procreate. The lashes on. You know that I wear Spanx sometimes. You know that I, uh, I don't know what hey, else do I do? You, do. you knew that I couldn't possibly put extensions be this, in my hair. This like intuitive, what, what sensitive guy? What mystery is there? What hoodwinking did I do? There's a lot of mystery. You're selling. You're selling us on some. A lot of pipe Sell dreams. you in, If I sold you on something, I'd be holding a check right now, and I'm not holding a check. I'm not holding nothing. Look, you're holding the check right now. Hmm? Oh, you're the now big I'm the payday? Check. You're Hello. the payday? I'm the prize. <laughs> Look, I got you as a prize, you got me as a prize. It's, it's an equal exchange of, uh, of goods. Really? Shout out to Harvey Mason Jr. Woo That's right. Maestro. We have a great show for you today. We'll catch up with our friend Malcolm Jamal Warner. Yeah. And we'll have a crazy fun time with Kim Whitley. Yeah. And of course, our very special friend David A. Arnold yeah. is in the house. Plus, we'll whip up some soul food, no pun intended. <laughs> flowers into your summer look and top it off with a very glamorous doggy fashion show and adoption. But before we bring out our guests, oh, I want to talk to you about this story I just read. Okay. It's kind of crazy. We're married, so this isn't really applying to us. However, a lot we have a lot of single friends that are now, we, this is the time of, this is the world of dating websites. And Tinder is one of them. Mm -hmm. However, did you know that one third of Tinder users are married? Whoa. Whoa, yes. hello. Like one out of three Tinder users you, users are, are cheaters. Like it's like you're hooking up. And it's not just the men. It's the women who's getting kind of busy on the side. And, well, yeah. okay. Well, I mean, you say cheaters, but. Uh, they're window shopping. That's what they're calling it. Exactly. Because as, as far as I understand, not that I know, but uh, <laughs> as far as I get understand this Tinder uh, uh, website, it's uh, not just about hooking up. It's about. He's getting some attention, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I mean, there are even couples who are posting together to hook up. Like, I'm sorry, like, what? What do you mean, they're posting together? It's okay, baby. It's all right. It's, <laughs> a, it's a whole new world out there, and I'm going to explain it later. Okay. <laughs> all right, go ahead. But basically, you know, the way it's set up is you can put a profile up. We could put a profile together if we wanted to bring some spice into the... On t do a tenderize it, Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're gonna tenderize this relationship. <laughs> but you know, like, you swipe if you like somebody, and if somebody swipes you back that you've swiped, you gotta hook up, like, two you swipes. You have to hook up? No, 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 then you just are compatible. <laughs> but you literally can just be like, no, 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 yeah. No, 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 yeah. No, no. <laughs> And then if those two yes swiped you on their swiping, then you get a little connection. That's very confusing. No, they, no, it's so crazy. They connect to your Facebook and connect to your users and your followers, and like you can get a, you could be. Let at me a, rephrase that. It's not confusing. It's scary. Well, you could be at a club with another Tinder user of somebody who swiped you, and it will say, 
compatibility 30 feet away. We met such a long time ago, we didn't have to deal with the Tinder and the Bender and the Gender and the Grinder. <laughs> it just sounds very stressful, a little bit crazy. Well, you know, yeah, there's a lot of ways, though, that even though you can have more access to people, there are a lot of things that people are doing that are keeping them single. Like, people are like, I'm out there, and I don't know why I'm not meeting anybody. Is that what well, they sound like? Yeah. <laughs> Well, a lot of times you don't realize that some of these pictures that you're posting are sending a, a different signals. Yeah. You know, you're showing the booty picture, but then you're complaining about there's nobody liking you for who you really are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you bad mouth in the opposite sex, but then, you know, you realize why he only wants one thing, like, or, or nobody's calling you. You know, it's, it's no mystery left. The allure, the romance, the... All that. It has gotten lost in a selfie land. In selfie land, yeah. yeah. Like this much. is me in the bathroom doing my hair, and this is me when my hair's done. And this is me. <laughs> this is me. It's not even a joke, it's true. Look at, this is really? me looking for my car keys, and this is me in the car. <laughs> People get crazy. Let me just give you a word of advice. Where's my camera? There's Daryl. Let me give you a word of advice. Just take a break from social media. Go outside and meet a real person. <laughs> You might be surprised what can happen with a real person. Well, I'm just saying. To help us navigate this online dating world, we have a true expert here in our audience. Julie Spira is the author of The Perils of Cyber Dating. Welcome, Julie. <laughs> Hi, she's here to Thank you. Hey, Julie. Hi. So, Julie, um, what, what kind of advice do you have uh, uh, to everybody out there? when it comes to online dating? You know, it's, it's such a big, big digital playground. You do need to play to win. There's over 50 million singles looking for love online. Wow! And that's a big Hold number. Hold on a second. Let's just stop for a second. There's over 50 million people out there looking Five for love zero. online? Right. So if you don't have an online strategy, you sort of, you're missing out on something. You might have the opportunity to meet your soulmate online. So I think you need an online strategy. Do you really believe an that? Ostrich. Yes, I do. You do? I absolutely do. You believe do. you can meet your, soul, uh, your soulmate online? I believe you can meet your soulmate anywhere, but sometimes he happens to be on Facebook or online. Before you meet them in person? Before you, you meet You think in that person. you already know that's your soulmate? The problem with that is you have a digital pen pal until you meet IRL. Yeah, there's still different levels that have mm. to happen and layers, but the digital platform allows a lot of exchange of information mm. without the pressure of like being over dinner and being stuck in a restaurant. Like you can talk about where you're from and what you like, then meet up and you have, you know, another level of chemistry that you can explore. Wow. Thanks so much, Julie, for yeah, joining us. I like that she has an optimistic view of, you know, you can meet someone on, on, mm -hmm. in cyberspace, then you go to the next level for the human connection. Now, if you're lucky enough to get all the way to an intimate mm -hmm. connection, there's still, we live in a world that's very selfish. And so, you know, you're in the bedroom and a lot of people are all about self, like, please me, please me. Like, there's still the issue of, you yeah. know, pleasuring the other person. Do you find that... An issue? Yes. <laughs> in, my, in my life? <laughs> I in just my thought personal that you life? were a guest on my show oh, all of a sudden. Right. I was like, so, well, do you wife, feel pleasured uh... in the bedroom? <laughs> um, <laughs> Have we fallen into a rut? I don't think so. Mm. Have we? No. no. I don't think so. No. Well, see, I, There's I, a nice, healthy give and take. It's a give and take. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, you it's know what? More, really, more when you have kids, awkward and it's awkward personal. and, yeah, yes. personal. Like, yeah. oh, my God, they're asleep. And we're about to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, when yeah. we are awake yes. after 10 o'clock, it is a give and take. Yes. Right? It should be a give and take. But, you know, I, I agree. There's, there's, there's issues, especially when you meet online. Uh, when you finally get to that personal contact, I'm sure that a lot of those people that use these online dating yes. sites have a singular focus, and that singular focus is about them rather than another person. Yeah. Um, and a lot of our single friends, like, they come storming over, and they're like, I don't believe this. We got all the way to the bedroom, and he was like, da da this and this, and didn't even do this, and didn't even do that. And, and it's like, it's all about, they, but male and female, it's all about self. And I'm like, uh, what happened to Keep the... saying it, people. Catering, catering to the other person is important. Don't forget, my mother, actually, believe it or not, my mother, I, I was raised by my mother, and she taught me early on when I was a teenager, she said, the woman is number one in the bedroom. You have to make sure that the woman is completely satisfied. She, she taught us Dunk that. Don't Don't 
Dankeschön. Dankeschön. No, no, I think, it, I think it's very important because if, if, if she doesn't stimulate you in the bedroom, she's not going to stimulate you uh, intellectually. She's not going to stimulate you mentally. And all those things work together. Uh, uh, and if one is missing, you're missing out. Yes. Well, we have to take a break, but we'll be right back with Malcolm Jamal Warner. Peace. I'm Malcolm Jamal Warner, and I'm on the Boris and Nicole show up next. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Our first guest started acting at the age of nine and gained worldwide attention as the lovable Theo Huxtable. Yes, now you can see him on TNT's Major Crimes. Take a look. My guys have Norton in their line of sight about two miles from here. We are in position. But not entirely invisible. Oh, damn. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, in my defense, I trained Rusty how to spot somebody following him. Please welcome actor, director, and Grammy Award winner, Malcolm Jamal Warner. skills under your belt and hey, you know hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, going, we're, okay. going, we're going there so soon huh? All right. <laughs> that's how we are on the boys in the call show <laughs> <laughs> no taboos yeah. so you know what what uh, inspires you to stay branched out in, in many forms of entertainment you know what this is um, when, when I started early on um, my mother said to me you know, like when, when Cosby first started, remember it came out the came out the box, incredible Blazing, ratings. Yeah. And my mother really Im impressed upon me the importance of longevity, the importance of um, having uh, branching out and having other interests. Because she said, if you're going to have longevity in this business, you are going to have uh, periods of dry spells, and during those dry spells, you don't want to have to make desperate career choices. Wow. So it was always. And I started directing. Uh, when I was 16, I was doing music videos. I was directing Cosby episodes by the time I was 18. Um, I was directing Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, uh, a bunch of stuff for Nickelodeon. Wow. But it was because she impressed upon me the importance of, of you know, being diverse. Wow, well, she's here in the audience. Yes, she is. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Well, in addition to, to uh, doing major crimes, you're also on the new show um, called American Crime Story. American Crime Story, not to be confused with American Crime, um, but American Crime Story, um, Ryan Murphy, uh, the creator, producer of Nip Tuck, Glee, yes. American Horror Story, has a new franchise called uh, American Crime Story. Mm -hmm. And this first season is American Crime Story, The People versus OJ. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but it's kind of cool. Like, Cube, Cube Gooding Jr. plays um, O.J. Simpson. Wow. John Travolta plays Robert Shapiro. Uh, Courtney Vance plays uh, Johnny Cochran. It's a great cast. Wow. I play Al Collins. Uh -huh. So I'm, 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 I'm rocking the, the white the, Bronco. The Bronco. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Wow. And it's really me driving, just so you know. It's, <laughs> no stunt drivers. Right, right, no stunt yeah. drivers. That's incredible. Now, most people don't know you have a music career as well, with a new album coming out. Woo! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Next Tell us month, about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I'm a, uh, I'm a, a, a poet and a bass player. Um, my band, Miles Long, is a you know, jazz, funk, soul, you know, R&B, spoken word. Band, um, which he won a Grammy for. Woo! I won a Grammy. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yeah, it's cool. So I won a Grammy this year with uh, with Robert Glasper and Layla Hathaway. Wow. Yeah. 
Amazing. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's 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 been a it's been a really cool um, it's been a cool transition. It's been cool to have my audience, you know, really be supportive of the, the music that I do and the poetry. Because yeah. I've been, you know, I was I was a big part of the resurgence of the underground spoken word movement in L.A. Um, going back to like you know 93, 94, before poetry was the cool thing to do again. So it's something that allows me to. Um, I think I've been to a few back yeah, in the back day. In the day. Yeah, Your yeah, poetry yeah, slams, yeah. they were amazing. Yeah, I felt yeah. like I was back in New York. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, since you are a, a an award-winning uh, <laughs> spoken word artist, uh, we thought that uh, you could give us a little taste right here. Do you guys oh, want to hear something? Yes. Uh huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You make me spark and tingle, as if I was still that single cat, still mingling that charming wit I love to spit like venom. A wink and a smile, and I'm in them with a swiftness, with just enough quickness for them to forgive this flurry of confusion, no matter how blurry the illusion gets. But with you, I just want to sit by your side, gaze into your eyes, and watch the sunset. And I admit, under the guise of simply being too fatigued, really, I'm just too intrigued by the possibility of a life with you, maybe a kid or two, and a happiness reminiscent of that paradise bliss before the apple was bitten. With you, I'm more than just smitten. I'm heavily in like, and I think I'm in love. <laughs> Right, right. That's right. <laughs> thank you, Malcolm, right. yes. for coming right. by. No, thank you, thank you, thank you for having and me. Thank you. With us. Yeah. Hey, congratulations, congratulations thank you on the so show. So much. Yeah, Be sure you. to watch yeah. Malcolm Jamal Warner and Major Crimes on Mondays on TNT, and for those of you in the Los Angeles area. Malcolm will be performing oh, at the yeah. Summer Music Series at Sadie Kitchen and Lounge, August 5th. I'll be there, and September 2nd. Yeah, please, come check us out. We'll be right back. my mother's mac and cheese, her mm. mashed potatoes and gravy oh. and home cooked greens. Oh. I wonder what spices it took now that I have my own family to make each dish mouth watering. Here to whip up some soulful treats from Soul Food Kitchen is expert. We were kind of kicking it back downstairs in the basement and talking about, are people going to watch? And Melinda was all like, they're going to have the popcorn ready. It's going to be all kinds of things. And this brother was like giving her so much energy. And I was like, Nick, he is feeling you. <laughs> like, for real. And I was like, no. Oh, no. my God, he's a supermodel. He dates supermodels. Yes, and, I, I, and I'm not going to go out like that. It's not yeah. professional. Well, little did she know she was a supermodel. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. That's right. Let's, let's introduce everybody. Rhea 
introduce everybody. Cause, well, first of all, you will look exactly the same. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. The one and only Rockman Dunbar. Oh. <laughs> Actor, director, producer, just like Malcolm Jamal Warner was talking about, this brother does everything in front of the camera and behind the camera, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one and only choreographer, entrepreneur, actor extraordinaire, really he's 75 years old, but only looks 29, Darren DeWitt Henson. And that handsome, gorgeous, oh, who really is 29, Aaron Meeks, y'all. And my sisters for life, yeah. in front of the camera and behind the camera, Vanessa Williams. <laughs> And Melinda Williams, who are both incredible actresses, as you know, but they're also businesswomen in front of and behind the camera. Spoken word, uh, beauty tips, blogger, producer. I mean, these are the real deal, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, and I just, I, I mean, right. I, know, I know you've grown and everything, yeah. but what's all this? What's all this? It's, it's, it's the look now. You know. it's yeah. The, I, I'm still stuck looking young, but I, you know. You look grown to blessing. me right there. Absolutely. Wow. Well, we what just want to surprise. tell you, cancel the rest of your guests or whatever else you had going on. Yeah, we here now. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> I'm very emotional right now, but you, this is a like a, a, a dream come true. Yeah, so can you guys just take a few minutes and just tell us what's going on so people know. Rockman, you're, right now you are? Uh, well, the most important thing, I'm raising my 19-month-old daughter, yeah. Berkeley. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, that, the out of everything, I really just wanted to be a dad before acting, directing, or just even creating. I just wanted to be a father. and. Um, wow. And uh, you know, doing a show with uh, Hulu next month, ten episodes. Uh, it's called The Way. Michelle Monaghan and, uh, wow. and and Paul. Awesome. Uh, yeah, Aaron Paul is, yes. is is in the show, so it's wow. great. It's great. Job. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, look for that. Darren, what about you? Uh, I am enjoying the success of Chocolate City. Ow! That was just came up. And uh, I've been traveling the country with my book called Ain't That the Truth. So I'm really excited about that. And moving on to some other projects that we have happening in September. Fantastic. Yeah. Aaron, besides all this handsomeness, <laughs> I know you do a lot of things on the side as well. Yeah, I'm, I've been basically just, uh, you know, living life and trying to work with kids, trying to... Yes. You uplift. Know, you know, uplift, teach them the way to go. And, wow. and, and just Amazing. be focused and do all of that. You already know I got seven jobs. So <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I do a talk series also called Exhale. Um, I yes. produce web, yeah, thank you. I produce web series. Um, I also just wrapped up a, a film uh, called Girlfriend's Getaway 2, where... With Terry J. Vaughn. With Terry J. Yeah. Vaughn, and yeah. Essence yeah. Atkins, and Garcia Bove. Yeah, we get to trips about the world um, on these, doing these wonderful vacation movies. So I just been also just enjoying and living my life. My son is 15 now. He's about to be 16, yeah. yeah. And Miss Vanessa <laughs> Williams, extraordinaire. Yes. I'm doing um, a four or five episode arc on a CW show, and it's their second season, and I'm not allowed to say what my role is and what my character is. Ooh, but I'm going but to you're Vancouver. working with yes. some really yummy some people. Some really yummy people that yes. you know very well. We'll tune in. Yeah. A lot of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just like that time. She just, oh, she just yeah. said yeah. nothing, yeah. basically. And I have a one-woman show that tours the country. It's called Feet on the Ceiling, and it's uh, about a coming-of-age story wow. about, you know, when you know you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I want to tell our studio audience, for those of you who, who are so, we're so used to all the breakthroughs that are happening in mm -hmm. television now with scandal and how to get away with with murder and being Mary Jane, we were kind of a breakthrough show. Kind of, kind of. yeah. We no, had, we, we, had, we, had, we were kind of. But I'm saying it. I'm not trying to blow our horn, but it was it was a it was a one hour drama mm -hmm. yeah. on a Showtime on a cable network, yeah. and it, we had a big budget. Look at oh, us. Wow. Look at us. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was a big budget, and they were they were taking a risk with yeah, us. Right. I just want to point out though. You know, Vanessa saw their love connection or their spark um, much earlier on than we did, than the rest of us did. But I think when that first love scene that the two of you did <laughs> yeah. in the pilot, yeah, and that's when we all 
the rest of he us said, said, listen, they good, but they ain't that good. <laughs> <laughs> going on a first date at one time in our lives and then stressing over what to wear. Am I right? So today we're going to take a look at some of the do's and don'ts on what to wear on a first date at a nice restaurant. Mm. Nice. Well, this is a task that Nicole and I didn't want to tackle alone. So we asked some of our judgmental friends <laughs> <laughs> to help us decide which first date styles we should love or lose. Please welcome back to the show comedian David A. Arnold along with the star of ABC Family's Young and Hungry, comedian Kim Whitley. Woo yeah. 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 Before we talk about what we should wear on a first date, right? I want to know your, your initial thoughts on dressing for a first date. Kim, you have some, some style. Okay, well, uh, I mean, first date, because I don't get them often. Look at how hot but, you uh, are. Boom, you see that on my LA look Style there. magazine? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> boom, what? Uh, so I, Do you I ever mean, stress about what to wear? No, as long as I got a good bra and a wig, I'm good. <laughs> 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 David, is this an issue for guys? I know you're married, happily married. Yeah. Hi, Julie. Yeah. But you also, you okay. remember what it was like. First you didn't date. even dress for your talk show. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone the first date. This, this is what oh. happens when you get married. It's over. You understand? No, you do. I think. You, you used know, to have it, style. I used to, you know, before my wife took everything. Um, <laughs> I, I did. You care about what you wear. You know, it's not a. You know, it's not like the woman cares, but it's definitely, you know, you care. My biggest thing is what the woman's wearing. I oh. want to see what you want to see what okay, well, we really don't I want to see how quick woman. I can get. All right, well, let, look, I just don't, don't fight just yet. What? I just don't care. fight. No fighting. <laughs> Let's get started. We'll show you photos of potential first date outfits, <laughs> All right? right? No. As soon as you see the image, you will yell <laughs> if we should love it or lose it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not... <laughs> Security. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Again, guys, this is about speed and loud and judgmental yelling. All right. We want all of I you in the audience that to yell too. Okay. Lou Jay's up. Okay. If she take that bra off, okay. 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 it's gonna kill three people in the front row. <laughs> 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 all right. Okay, here's wait, the first wait, image, wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Here's the first image. Okay. okay. Yeah, come on now. That's too much. That's that, a European look. That is way. I'm, no, he got that scarf on. Uh uh. And a that sweater, a, a blazer, vest, a vest, a shirt, some shoulder pads. It's too much. <laughs> a shoulder pads. And I don't know. What do you mean too much? How could he tone it down? Uh, first of all, take off seven layers. That's first it. Of all. <laughs> so love it or lose it. Everything going on the world. I said, I swear I might love it if you take that scarf and tie me up later. I, <laughs> I, I say, love it. Uh, That's I a different show. Too much. I like it. Okay. I, yes, he cares, it? he cares about it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love okay. it. Love it. Okay, love it. Come on. All right, next okay, one. Okay, next one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know. <laughs> what we got next? Take to get through it. Oh. Love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Love it. Now, how about you? How about you? I, I, stop it. I actually love her hair, and I want to buy some of it. <laughs> but uh, as far as, see, I'm a cleavage girl. Yes, and, you, you know, are. And if I go on a date, depending on how cute they are, the lower this zipper gets. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I'm just saying. I just think she, she, you know, she looks you know, like she doesn't chart. want dinner. She wants a check. <laughs> and, okay. and, if you wear David, that, I will pay your rent. You understand me? <laughs> oh Let me explain God. something to you about David, though. What is she People pointing at with her finger? What is she pointing at? To her knees? What, what is she doing? Do we love it or lose it? We, it's over. Love it. Lose it. Lose, lose it. it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. Lose it. First it's lady, it's too many women in here. All right, next image. Moving All right. on. Okay. Who's that? He's 
casual Friday. Boo! Boo, everybody's booing already. What do you think, Dave? I think that he has on shorts. He, and if you show up to dinner... He has dinner, on your outfit. That's yeah. my girl. That's my girl. That's my <laughs> What about he, you, Kim? No, Don't say nothing. <laughs> absolutely not, because Dave, that's how Dave dresses. We just did a show at the Improv last week. He dressed like that every night on stage. It is awful. Don't nobody want to see your thighs while I'm trying to eat my shrimp. <laughs> but that's my son. <laughs> Good job, no, son. No, no, let me explain. No. What about you, babe? Lose it. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, your shirt. Little. <laughs> All right. It looks like the majority felt we needed to lose these first date looks. Let's off. just give a round of applause for our judges, Kim Whitley and David A.R. Good job. You can catch Kim Whitley on ABC Family, Young and Hungry, premiering Wednesday, August 19th. And David A.R. Arnold on tour with Kim at the Baltimore Comedy Baltimore. Factory. Yeah. That's right. And talk about our family here on the show, including our dog Max, who we adopted when he was eight weeks old. Max. Maxie. So we decided to help some other dogs in the Los Angeles Animal Services find a forever home. Before our staff members bring out our furry friends, let's meet our dog expert, veterinarian <laughs> Doc Karen Halligan. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Doc Halligan. Now, what's the top thing people should know when adopting a dog? Well, you got to think of your lifestyle and your budget. Because some of these dogs need a lot of energy. So if you work all day away from home, it wouldn't be the right dog. Some are more couch potatoes. Yep. Um, and budget. Some dogs cost more. They have to be groomed every six weeks. Yeah, we discovered that. The, the, the vaccinations and the grooming yes. and the food. Good food. Yeah, and you got to pay attention because, gosh, 80000 a week are getting put down. That number's too high. Yes. So it's great wow. you're having these animals on. Aww. We want to get home for them. So. so tell us about yes. our first dog Okay, here. this is Curly. He's two years old, and he's a poodle mix, and he has a great set of hair. All the ladies love a dog or a man with a head of hair, although <laughs> Boris, Thanks. Uh -huh. you're very sexy. Thanks, so, Doc. Uh, Thank you. Now, Curly is waking up in style on a Bailey Nasco bed that looks luxurious, has originality and comfort. She's also wearing a lovely little dog wrapper coat by Bailey Nasco. Look at you, Curly, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> Doc, uh, tell us about our next dog. Okay, then we've got Daisy over Hi, there. Daisy. Hi, Daisy. She's so sweet. She's 10 years old. She is a purebred Rottweiler, and her is, I'm a classic, and I'll never go out of style. That's, That's right. right. Um, what's sad is that her owner became ill, and the children couldn't care for her, so they took all the dogs to the shelter. Uh -huh. So it's very sad. She's very sweet. But Daisy's going to find a home for yes. sure. She will. Yes. Who's After next? the dog wakes up, um, it's time to take care of his teeth. Right? Yes. How important is oral health care when it, you're talking about dogs? It's so important. If you're not taking care of their teeth every day, brushing, wiping, doing something, mm -hmm. you shorten their lifespan by 30%. Wow, wow, because of bacteria and infection and things like yeah. that. They have teeth just like we do. So yeah. are there simple ways? Are there any products out there that are really yeah. great? There's a lot of great products um, that you can use, like I said, wipes. Brushing their teeth, you need to do something every other day. Well, Pets Life is 100% holistic and helps with bad breath. Yes, bad breath is not good. Your dog shouldn't have bad breath. So using products like that is going to save them years in their life. I love that. Yep. What about boredom? Do dogs ever yes. get bored? Absolutely. That's why you see things chewed um, and they're oh. naughty. They have to go out and get exercise. And socialize, right? Yes. yes. Well, we have Jean Brusevich here from Tranquil Pets and Camp run -Am -Up oh, from South Bay with her client's dog, Kustos. Hi, Kustos. Jean, can you tell us about your services? Yes, I, I'm certified in small animal massage. I'm a Reiki master practitioner and I swim dogs. I swim with dogs for, um, that are elderly, overweight, arthritic, pre-post-surgery. I also, that's Kustos right there, swimming for fun and wow. exercise. And I also teach dogs to get over their fear of the water and give them swim lessons. I love this. Well, tell us about Camp Runamut in South Bay. Oh, Camp Runamut is a fabulous outdoor, cage-free, overnight boarding facility. They have 
uh, waterfall splash pond, uh, kiddie pools. They have fabulous wranglers that are with the dogs 24 seven. They are a full service. They do grooming. They have a trainer, and they've also do pickup and delivery. They have we like a little to limo there. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so could we could we leave Max with you if we went to Europe for five Oh, absolutely, or six days? absolutely. I have a lot of clients that um, leave their dogs there while they're working or on vacation, and I get them from the yard. I swim them. I rinse them. Does and he have to be neutered or, or? They do have to be. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. See, I don't next step, to, babe. I don't know next how to step. We, we can have this meeting with her after the show. Ah, it's so painful just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc, let's meet a few other dogs. Okay. Who we got next? Here we got oh. Sammy and Sapphire. Sammy is the little terrier mix spaniel on the floor there. Who's wearing a motorcycle jacket? <laughs> He's a tough dog. He's eight months old. He was found as a stray running the streets of LA <laughs> and ended up in the shelter. He was wilding out. <laughs> That's right. Looking for the girls because he wasn't neutered. So you live longer. <laughs> Neutered. That's Sapphire. She's only 10 weeks old. Oh um, just like my eyes, I love things that sparkle. So they're wearing all these fashionable clothes, peaches and cream harness gown over here, and the boys freedom hoodie jacket. And all of these are from a company called Diamonds in the Rough Rough. Well, all of you doggy owners in the audience can give your pets a full day of pampering and care because you are all going home with two free days of day care thanks to Camp Ronamuck. <laughs> in the South Bay and a complimentary service coupon for either a swim, massage, or Reiki session courtesy of Tranquil Pet. I love it. I have never had Reiki. That's incredible. <laughs> and if that weren't enough, you'll also receive some of that Pets Life Oral Care Spray. And to top it off, yes, a cozy blanket for your pup, thanks to Bailey Nasco. <laughs> and there's one more adorable dog up for adoption. Oh, hello, Squeakers. Donna. Hello, Squeakers. <laughs> Squeakers is eight weeks old. She's a Chihuahua Beagle Jack Russell. Don't oh. let don't let her fool you. She will be running the house. She's a little spitfire. Lots of energy. And I just spit when I yes, said that. I'm sorry. Perfect. To find out information on the products you've seen today and the dogs that are up for adoption, log on to BorisandNicole.com or head to our yes, head to our ah. Facebook page for direct links to give one of these amazing dogs a forever home. Thanks to Doc Halligan for being here. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Did you know you can keep up with one of today's hottest fashion trends simply by wearing flowers in your hair? Well, it's true, and I'm a big fan. So I've invited one of Hollywood's leading experts in flower fashion. Please welcome celebrity floral designer, Eddie Zaratzian. Nicole, thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, Eddie, you are, are the it florist among Hollywood's biggest celebs. And so you design flowers on our set, you also put them in our dressing room. <laughs> Thank you. What are some of the growing trends in floral arrangements? You know, obviously, we see a lot of uh, trends in fashion, and floral is a big part of it. It's it's an accessory. It makes us happy. Flowers are a happy yes. thing. So they smell I, good. They smell good. Um, they sometimes taste good too. It all depends yes, on the flower. I've had a flower salad Absolutely, before. Of yes. Course. So there's a lot of edible flowers. But I want to bring out the first model. I want you to see what we've created. So there's different things that we've done from floral crowns to headpieces. Wow. To, look at this. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, you know, Eddie, I, I'm around a lot of flowers in California. There's flowers growing all over. And I always wonder, do I just pick it and snap it and stick a bobby pin? But, like, how do you get it to stay vibrant and, and alive? You know, there are, well, first of all, they're perishable. So you have to use them on that day that you're, right. you're creating it. And then there's a, a, a flower material called Crown and Glory, which you spritz it on, and it actually is an almost protector. Wow, yeah. it kind of seals and gives it a little longer life. Longevity, correct. Yes, this is beautiful. Jillian, Our next model. thank you. Thank you. It's so cute. Look at this. I wanted to do something really um, very clean and simple, uh, very 60s and 70s chic, and we just took Billy Balls and just glued them on a That's headband. That's what they're called, yellow Billy Balls. Yep. They're beautiful. Next, thank, thank you. Thank you. What's next? Yeah. This is my flower goddess, as I want to call her. Um, 
And what we did is what we see a lot in weddings and in fashion is the floral crown. And it's actually just, it's simple because what we've done in the back is just put ribbons Ta as turn well. Turn around, turn around. Alex, and just show. Yeah, Look at she that. just tied it. It's so beautiful. I'm going to show you how to make this today, Nicole. Yeah, show me how to do this. So, thank you. So I've taken some floral wire. Now these are real. Yes, those this are called real. Italian ruskis. Italian, and what is this? That's floral wire. Floral wire. And then we've got floral tape. Love that. And okay. We, oh, and you wrap the and wire. And then I into... wrap the wire with okay. that. So, so I'm going to show you how to quickly do this, even yes. though I've done it for you. Yeah. Quickly. And then... We what... can start with this one that's already wrapped. Let's do that then. And then we'll, you add it to that. Basically, just do a switcheroo. Okay, I'll wrap that one. What's there the next you go. thing? You choose your flowers you while choose I'm doing your this. You choose your flowers. And then what we're going to do is pick some Because this right would here. be me. I would wait to the last minute to make the flower crown <laughs> for the huge event at the, at the you know, Buckingham at, Palace. Of course. And we're taking some floral adhesive. Oh, floral adhesive. It's not just regular old glue. No, it's not a hot uh, pan glue. And what you do is you let it dry oh up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. I like just three. Here, why don't you put it? Yep. Just I'm three? On, yeah, just three. A little doodad in the front. Doodad. And look at that. And oh so obviously and then, it's not wait, finished. It's not uh, dry. Hold on, it's not dry. It has to dry for a yep. couple of seconds, but before it dries, here, and let's then, try to put this on your hair and see how that look holds at up. That. Oh, oh, not so bad, that. huh? She's gorgeous, so anything looks gorgeous on her. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Eddie. This is so. Honey, I'm going to see you backstage. <laughs> Eddie, you know what? Thank you for being here. And Thank for you. more information about Eddie's events and floral, floral designs, log on to borisandnicole.com. We'll be right back. We want to thank our guests, Malcolm Jamal Warner, Kim Whitley, and David A. Arnold for stopping by. Also, Josh Hannigan for helping us with the dogs, and Eddie Zarati and for these beautiful dogs. And of course, our Soul Food family. Woo! Hey, let's do a few hashtags before we go, shall we? Hashtag Soul Food family. <laughs> Hashtag Poetry Slam. Hashtag two swipes get lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Claudia's birthday. Yeah! Yeah! Hashtag giveaway. Yeah! Since we've been talking about love and romance and bringing it back into everyone's life, we have something for the audience that I just... It's with the romantic Milena Candle, and you're all going home with one. Make sure you're back here tomorrow when we have Wayne Brady. Yay! And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. See you tomorrow. Bye. Yay! is not good. Your dog shouldn't have bad breath. So using products like that's going to save them years in their life. I love that. Yep. What about boredom? Do dogs ever yes. get bored? Absolutely. That's why you see things chewed um, and they're oh. naughty. They have to go out and get exercise. And socialize, so right? Yes. yes. Well, we have Jean Brusevich here from Tranquil Pets and Camp Runamut oh, God. from South Bay with her client's dog, Kustos. Hi, Kustos. Jean. Can you tell us about your services? Yes, I, pets? I'm certified in small animal massage. I'm a Reiki master practitioner, and I swim dogs. I swim with dogs for, um, that are elderly, overweight, arthritic, pre-post-surgery. I also, that's Kustos right there, swimming for fun and wow. exercise. And I also teach dogs to get over their fear of the water and give them swim lessons. I love this. Well, tell us about Camp Runamut in South Bay. Oh, Camp Runamut is a fabulous outdoor, cage-free, overnight boarding facility. They have 
uh, waterfall splash pond, uh, kiddie pools. They have fabulous wranglers that are with the dogs 24-7. They are a full service. They do grooming. They have a trainer, and they've also do pickup and delivery. They have we like a little limo there. service. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> the so could service. we could we leave Max with you if we went to Europe for five oh, or absolutely, six absolutely. I have a lot of clients that um, leave their dogs there while they're working or on vacation, and I get them from the yard. I swim them. I rinse them. Does and he have to be neutered or, or? They do have to be. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. See, I don't next step, to, babe. I don't next step. We, we could have this meeting with her after the show. Ah, it's so painful just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc, let's meet a few other dogs. Okay. Who we got next? Here we got oh. Sammy and Sapphire. Sammy is the little terrier mix spaniel on the floor there. Who's wearing a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> He's a tough dog. He's eight months old. He was found as a stray running the streets of L.A. <laughs> and ended up in the shelter. He was wilding out. <laughs> That's right. Looking for the girls because he wasn't neutered. So you live longer <laughs> Neutered. That's Sapphire. She's only 10 weeks old. Oh um, just like my eyes, I love things that sparkle. So they're wearing all these fashionable clothes, peaches and cream harness gown over here, and the boys' freedom hoodie jacket. And all of these are from a company called Diamonds in the Rough Rough. Well, all of you doggy owners in the audience can give your pets a full day of pampering and care because you are all going home with two free days of day care thanks to Camp Run Amok. In the South Bay, and a complimentary service coupon for either a swim, massage, or Reiki session, courtesy of Tranquil Pet. I love it. I have never had Reiki. That's incredible. <laughs> and if that weren't enough, you'll also receive some of that Pets Life Oral Care spray. And to top it off, yes, a cozy blanket ways, though, that even though you can have more access to people, there are a lot of things that people are doing that are keeping them single. Like people are like, I'm out there, and I don't know why I'm not meeting anybody. Is that what well, they sound like? Yeah. <laughs> Well, a lot of times you don't realize that some of these pictures that you're posting are sending a, a different signals. Yeah. You know, you're showing the booty picture, but then you're complaining about there's nobody liking you for who you really are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you bad mouth in the opposite sex, but then, you know, you realize why he only wants one thing. Like, or, or nobody's calling you. You know, it's, it's no mystery left. The allure, the romance, the... All that. It has gotten lost in a selfie land. In selfie land, yeah. yeah. Like this much. is me in the bathroom doing my hair, and this is me when my hair's done. And this is me. <laughs> this is me. It's not even a joke, it's true. Look at, this is really? me looking for my car keys, and this is me in the car. <laughs> People get crazy. Let me just give you a word of advice. Where's my camera? There's Daryl. Let me give you a word of advice. Just take a break from social media. Go outside and meet a real person. <laughs> You might be surprised what can happen with a real person. Well, I'm just saying. To help us navigate this online dating world, we have a true expert here in our audience. Julie Spira is the author of The Perils of Cyber Dating. Welcome, Julie. <laughs> Hi. She's here to Thank you. Hey, Julie. Hi. So, Julie, um, what, what kind of advice do you have uh, uh, to everybody out there? when it comes to online dating? You know, it's, it's such a big, big digital playground. You do need to play to win. There's over 50 million singles looking for love online. Wow! And that's a big Hold number. Hold on a second. Let's just stop for a second. There's over 50 million people out there looking Five for love zero. online? Right. So if you don't have an online strategy, you sort of, you're missing out on something. You might have the opportunity to meet your soulmate online. So I think you need an online strategy. Do you really believe and that? Austria. Yes, I do. You do? I absolutely do. You believe do. you can meet your, soul, uh, your soulmate online? I believe you can meet your soulmate anywhere, but sometimes he happens to be on Facebook or online. Before you meet them in person? Before you, you meet them in person. You think that you already know that's your soulmate? The problem with that is you have a digital pen pal until you meet IRL. Yeah, there's still different levels that have mm. to happen and layers, but the digital platform allows a lot of exchange of information mm. without the pressure of like being over dinner and being stuck in a restaurant. Like you can talk about where you're from and what you like, then meet up and you have, you know, another level of chemistry that you can explore. Wow. Thanks so much, Julie, for yeah, joining us. Great. Thank you. I like that she's 
Mark has an optimistic view of, you know, you can meet someone on, mm. on, in cyberspace, then you go to the next level for the human connection. Now, if you're lucky enough to get all the way to an intimate connection, mm. it's how does fashion trend simply by wearing flowers in your hair? Well, it's true, and I'm a big fan. So I've invited one of Hollywood's leading experts in flower fashion. Please welcome celebrity floral designer, Eddie Zaratzian. <laughs> Nicole, thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, Eddie, you are, are the it florist among Hollywood's biggest celebs. And so you design flowers on our set. You also put them in our dressing room. <laughs> thank you. What are some of the growing trends in floral arrangements? You know, obviously, we see a lot of uh, trends in fashion, and floral is a big part of it. It's it's an accessory. It makes us happy. Flowers are a happy yes. thing. So they I, smell good. They smell good. Um, they sometimes taste good too. It all depends yes, on the flower. I've had a flower salad Absolutely, before. Absolutely, of yes. course. So there's a lot of edible flowers. But I want to bring out the first model. I want you to see what we've created. So there's different things that we've done, from floral crowns to headpieces. Wow. To, look at this. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, you know, Eddie, I, I'm around a lot of flowers in California. There's flowers growing all over. And I always wonder, do I just pick it and snap it and stick a bobby pin? But, like, how do you get it to stay vibrant and, and alive? You know, there are, well, first of all, they're perishable. So you have to use them on that day that you're, right. you're creating it. And then there's a, a, a flower material called Crown and Glory, which you spritz it on, and it actually is an almost protector. Wow, yeah. it kind of seals and gives it a little longer life. Longevity, correct. Yes, this is beautiful. Jillian, Our next model. thank you. Thank you. It's so cute. Look at this. I want to do something really um, very clean and simple, uh, very 60s and 70s chic. And we just took Billy Balls and just glued them on a That's headband. That's what they're called, yellow Billy Balls. Yep. They're beautiful. Next, thank, thank you. Thank you. What's next? Yeah. This is my flower goddess, as I want to call her. Um, and what we did is what we see a lot in weddings and in fashion is the floral crown. And it's actually just, it's simple because what we've done in the back is just put ribbons Ta as turn well. Around, turn around, Alex, and just show. Yeah, Look at she that. just tied it. It's so beautiful. I'm going to show you how to make this today, Nicole. Yeah, show me how to do this. So, thank you. So I've taken some floral wire. Now these are real. Yes, those this are called real. Italian ruskis. Italian, and what is this? That's floral wire. Floral wire. And then we've got floral tape. Love that. And okay. We, oh, and you wrap the and wire. And then I into... wrap the wire with okay. that. Okay. So, so I'm going to show pretty... you how to quickly do this, even yes. though I've done it for you. Yeah. Quickly, and then. We what... can start with this one that's already wrapped. Let's do that then. And then we'll you add it to that. Basically, just do a switcheroo. Okay, I'll wrap that one. What's there the next you go. thing? You choose your flowers. You while choose I'm doing your this. flowers. And then what we're gonna do is pick some. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay, baby. Come on. That's what we were talking about. You can't get all that right. on a profile swipe. <laughs> right, right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Malcolm, right. for right. coming right. by. No, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. And lovely thank with you. us. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Congratulations Thank you on the so show. Much. Yeah. Be sure to watch Malcolm Jamal Warner and Major Crimes on Mondays on TNT. And for those of you in the Los Angeles area, Malcolm will be performing at the Summer Music Series at Sadie Kitchen and Lounge, August 5th. I'll be there and September 2nd. Yeah, please. Go check us out. We'll be right back. mother's mac and cheese, her mm. mashed potatoes and gravy oh. and home cooked greens. Oh. I wonder what spices it took now that I have my own family to make each dish mouth watering. Here to whip up some soulful treats from Soul Food Kitchen is expert
Podcast of Soul Food. <laughs> Just wow. got me good, y'all. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Okay, because this is where I met you. In the home. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't cry because we're all going to cry. And I saw it first. We were like in my basement of the house. We had just done like a scene of the, around the soul food dinner table. We were kind of kicking it back downstairs in the basement and talking about are people going to watch? And Melinda was all like, they're going to have the popcorn ready. It's going to be all kinds of things. And this brother was like giving her so much energy. And I was like, uh, waterfall, splash pond, uh, kiddie pools. They have fabulous wranglers that are with the dogs 24 7. They are a full service, they do grooming. They have a trainer, and they've also do pickup and delivery. They have we like a little limo service. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so could we could we leave Max with you if we went to Europe for five months? Oh, absolutely, or six absolutely. I have a lot of clients that um, leave their dogs there while they're working or on vacation, and I get them from the yard. I swim them. I rinse them. Does he have to be neutered or? or? They do have to be. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. See, I don't next know how step, to, babe. Next step. We, we could have this meeting with her after the show. Ah, it's so painful just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc, let's meet a few other dogs. Who okay. we got next? Here we got oh. Sammy and Sapphire. Sammy is the little terrier mix spaniel on the floor there. Who's wearing a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> He's a tough dog. He's eight months old. He was found as a stray running the streets of L.A. <laughs> and ended up in the shelter. He was wilding out. <laughs> That's right. Looking for the girls because he wasn't neutered. So you live longer. <laughs> That's Sapphire. She's only 10 weeks old. Oh um, just like my eyes, I love things that sparkle. So they're wearing all these fashionable clothes, peaches and cream harness gown over here, and the boys' freedom hoodie jacket. And all of these are from a company called Diamonds in the Rough Rough. Well, all of you doggy owners in the audience can give your pets a full day of pampering and care because you are all going home with two free days of day care thanks to Camp Run Amok. In the South Bay, and a complimentary service coupon for either a swim, massage, or Reiki session, courtesy of Tranquil Pet. I love it. I have never had Reiki. That's incredible. <laughs> and if that weren't enough, you'll also receive some of that Pets Life Oral Care spray. And to top it off, yes, a cozy blanket for your pup, thanks to Bailey Nasco. Oh. And there's one more adorable dog up for adoption. Oh, hello, squeakers. Dog. Hello, squeakers. <laughs> Squeakers. Squeakers eight weeks old. She's a Chihuahua Beagle Jack Russell. Don't let, don't let her fool you. She will be running the house. She's a little Spitfire. Lots of energy. And I just spit when I yes, said that. I'm sorry. Perfect. To find out information on the products you've seen today and the dogs that are up for adoption, log on to BorisandNicole.com or head to our yes, head to our Facebook page for direct links to give one of these amazing dogs a forever home. Thanks to Doc Halligan for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Did you know you can keep up with one of today's hottest fashion trends simply by wearing flowers in your hair? Well, it's true, and I'm a big fan. Arthritic, pre-post surgery. I also, that's Kustos right there, swimming for fun and exercise. Wow. And I also teach dogs to get over their fear of the water and give them swim lessons. I love this. Well, tell us about Camp Runamut in South Bay. Oh, Camp Runamut is a fabulous outdoor cage-free overnight boarding facility. They have uh, waterfall, splash pond, uh, kiddie pools. They have fabulous wranglers that are with the dogs 24-7. They are a full service. They do grooming. They have a trainer, and they've also do pickup and delivery. They have like we a little limo there. service. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so could, we, could we leave Max with you if we went to Europe for five Oh, absolutely, or six days? absolutely. I have a lot of clients that um, leave their dogs there while they're working or on vacation, and I get them from the yard. I swim them. I rinse them. Does he have to be neutered or? or... They do have to be. Yes. 
Sorry. See, I don't next know step, to, babe. I don't know next step. We, we can have this meeting with her after the show. Ah, it's so painful just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc, let's meet a few other dogs. Okay. Who we got next? Here we got oh. Sammy and Sapphire. Sammy is the little terrier mix spaniel on the floor there. Who's wearing a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> He's a tough dog. He's eight months old. He was found as a stray running the streets of L.A. <laughs> and ended up in the shelter. He was wilding out. <laughs> That's right. Looking for the girls because he wasn't neutered. So you live longer if you're neutered. That's Sapphire. She's only 10 weeks old. Oh um, just like my eyes, I love things that sparkle. So they're wearing all these fashionable clothes, peaches and cream harness gown over here, and the boys' freedom hoodie jacket. And all of these are from a company called Diamonds in the Rough Rough. Well, all of you doggy owners in the audience can give your pets a full day of pampering and care because you are all going home with two free days of day care thanks to Camp Run Amok. Oh, in the South Bay, and a complimentary service coupon for either a swim, massage, or Reiki session, courtesy of Tranquil Pet. I love it. I have never had Reiki. That's incredible. <laughs> and if that weren't enough, you'll also receive some of that Pets Life Oral Care Spray. And to top it off, yes, a cozy blanket for your pup, thanks to Bailey Nasco. <laughs> and there's one more adorable dog up for adoption. Oh, hello, squeakers. Donna. Hello, squeakers. <laughs> Squeakers. Squeakers is eight oh. weeks old. She's a Chihuahua Beagle Jack Russell. Don't oh. let don't let her fool you. She will be running the house. She's a little spitfire. Lots of energy. And I just spit when I yes, said that. I'm sorry. Perfect. To find out information on the products you've seen today and the dogs that are up for adoption, log on to BorisandNicole.com ah. or head to our yes, head to our ah. Facebook page for direct links to give one of these amazing dogs a forever home. Thanks to Doc Halligan for being here. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. We'll be right back. And all those things work together. Uh, uh, and if one is missing, you're missing out. Yes. Well, we have to take a break, but we'll be right back with Malcolm Jamal Warner. Peace. I'm Malcolm Jamal Warner, and I'm on the Boris and Nicole show up next. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Our first guest started acting at the age of nine and gained worldwide attention as the lovable Theo Huxtable. <laughs> yes, now you can see him on TNT's Major Crimes. Take a look. All right, <clears throat> my guys have Norton in their line of sight about two miles from here. We are in position. But not entirely invisible. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, in my defense, I trained Rusty how to spot somebody following him. Please welcome actor, director, and Grammy Award winner, Malcolm Jamal Warner! skills under your belt and you know we're going there so soon huh All right. <laughs> that's how we are on the boys in the culture <laughs> no taboos yeah. so you know what what uh, inspires you to stay branched out in, in many forms of entertainment you know what this is um, when, when I started early on um, my mother said to me you know, like when, when Cosby first started remember it came out the came out the box, incredible Blazing, ratings. yeah. And my mother really Im impressed upon me the importance of longevity, the importance of um, having, uh, branching out and having other interests, because she said, if you're going to have longevity in this business, you are going to have uh, periods of dry spells. And during those dry spells, you don't want to have to make desperate career choices. Wow. So it was always, you know, I started directing uh, when I was 16, I was doing music videos. I was directing Cosby episodes by the time I was 18. Um, I was directing Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, uh, a bunch of stuff for Nickelodeon. Wow. But it was because she impressed upon me the importance of, of you know, being diverse. Wow. Well, she's here in the audience. Yes, she is. 
Hi, Mom. Shorts. He, and if you show up to dinner. He has dinner, on your outfit. That's, has, your outfit. that's my girl. That's my girl. <laughs> what about he, you, Kim? No, don't say nothing. Absolutely not, because Dave, that's how Dave dresses. We just did a show at the Improv last week. He dressed like that every night on stage. It is awful. Don't nobody else see your thighs while I'm trying to eat my shrimp. <laughs> but that's my son. <laughs> Good job, no, son. No, no, let me explain. No. What about you, babe? Lose it. Good. Yeah. yeah. So oh, right. your shirt. Little. All right. It looks like the majority felt we needed to lose these first date looks. Let's just give a round of applause for our judges, Kim Whitley and David A.R. Good job. You can catch Kim Whitley on ABC Family, Young and Hungry, premiering Wednesday, August 19th, and David A. Arnold on tour with Kim at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. Yeah. That's right. September 24th and 26th. We'll be right back. And talk about our family here on the show, including our dog Max, who we adopted when he was eight weeks old. Max. Maxie. So we decided to help some other dogs in the Los Angeles Animal Services find a forever home. Before our staff members bring out our furry friends, let's meet our dog expert, veterinarian <laughs> Doc Karen Halligan. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Doc Halligan. <laughs> now, what's the top thing people should know when adopting a dog? Well, you got to think of your lifestyle and your budget. Because some of these dogs need a lot of energy. So if you work all day away from home, it wouldn't be the right dog. Some are more couch potatoes. Yep. Um, and budget. Some dogs cost more. They have to be groomed every six weeks. Yeah, we discovered that. The, the, the vaccinations and the grooming yes. and the food. Good food. Yeah, and you got to pay attention because, gosh, 80000 a week are getting put down. That number's too high. Yeah. So it's great wow. you're having these animals on. Aww. We want to get home for them. So. Yes. so tell us about our yes. first dog Okay, here. this is Curly. He's two years old and he's a poodle mix and he has a great set of hair. All the ladies love a dog or a man with a head of hair, although <laughs> Boris, Thanks a lot. you are very sexy. Thanks, so, Doc. Uh, Thank you. Now, Curly is waking up in style on a Bailey Nasco bed that looks luxurious, has originality and comfort. She's also wearing a lovely little dog wrapper coat by Bailey Nasco. Look at you, Curly, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> Doc, uh, tell us about our next dog. Okay, then we've got Daisy over Hi, there. Daisy. Hi, Daisy. She's so sweet. She's 10 years old. She is a purebred Rottweiler, and her is, I'm a classic, and I'll never go out of style. That's right. Um, what's sad is that her owner became ill. He thinks chewed, um, and they're oh. naughty. They have to go out and get exercise. And socialize, a lot. right? Yes. yes. Well, we have Jean Brusevich here from Tranquil Pets and Camp Runamut oh, God. from South Bay with her client's dog, Kustos. Hi, Kustos. <laughs> Jean, can you tell us about your services? Yes, I, I'm certified in small animal massage. I'm a Reiki master practitioner, and I swim dogs. I swim with dogs for um, that are elderly, overweight, arthritic, pre-post surgery. I also, that's Kustos right there, swimming for fun and wow. exercise. Wow. And I also teach dogs to get over their fear of the water and give them swim lessons. I love this. Well, tell us about Camp Runamut in South Bay. Oh, Camp Runamut is a fabulous outdoor, cage-free, overnight boarding facility. They have a uh, waterfall, splash pond, uh, kitty pools, they have fabulous wranglers that are with the dogs 24-7. They are a full service, they do grooming, they have a trainer, and they have also do pickup and delivery. They have we like a little limo there. service. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so could, we, could we leave Max with you if we went to Europe for five Oh, absolutely, or absolutely. I have a lot of clients that um, leave their dogs there while they're working or on vacation, and I get them from the yard, I swim them, I rinse them. Does and he have to be neutered or, or? They do have to be, yes. <sighs> Sorry. See, I don't next step, to, babe, I don't next step. We, we could have this meeting with her after the show. Ah, it's so painful just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc, 
let's meet a few other dogs. Who okay. we got next? Here we got oh. Sammy and Sapphire. Sammy is the little terrier mix spaniel on the floor there. Who's wearing a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> He's a tough dog. He's eight months old. He was found as a stray running the streets of L.A. <laughs> and ended up in the shelter. He was wilding out. <laughs> That's right. Looking for the girls because he wasn't neutered. So you live longer if you're neutered. That's Sapphire. She's only 10 weeks old. Oh um, just like my eyes, I love things that sparkle. So they're wearing all these fashionable clothes, peaches and cream harness gown over here, and the boys' freedom hoodie jacket. And all of these are from a company called Diamonds in the Rough Rough. Well, all of you doggy owners in the audience can give your pets a full day of pampering and care because you are all going home with two free days of day care thanks to Camp Run Amok. Oh, in the South Bay, and a complimentary service coupon for either a swim, massage, or Reiki session, courtesy of Tranquil Pet. I love it. I have never had Reiki. That's incredible. <laughs> and if that weren't enough, you'll also receive some of that Pets Life Oral Care Spray. And to top it off, yes, a cozy blanket for your pup, thanks to Bailey Nasco. <laughs> and there's one more adorable dog up for adoption. Oh, hello, Squeaker. Dog. Hello, Squeaker. And if you show up to he dinner... He has on your outfit. That's, yeah. my, outfit. That's my dog. That's my dog. <laughs> what about he, you, Kim? No, absolutely. Don't say nothing. Absolutely not, because Dave, that's how Dave dresses. We just did a show at the Improv last week. He dressed like that every night on stage. It is awful. Don't nobody else see your thighs while I'm trying to eat my shrimp. <laughs> but that's my son. <laughs> Good job, no, son. No, no, let me... No. What about you, babe? Lose it. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. your shirt. Let it. All right. It looks like the majority felt we needed to lose these first eight looks. Let's just give a round of applause for our judges, Kim Whitley and David A.R. Good job. You can catch Kim Whitley on ABC Family, Young and Hungry, premiering Wednesday, August 19th, and David A. Arnold on tour with Kim at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. Yeah. That's right. September 24th and 26th. We'll be right back. And talk about our family here on the show, including our dog Max, who we adopted when he was eight weeks old. Max. Maxie. So we decided to help some other dogs from the Los Angeles Animal Services find a forever home. Before our staff members bring out our furry friends, let's meet our dog expert, veterinarian <laughs> Doc Karen Halligan. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Doc Halligan. Now, what's the top thing people should know when adopting a dog? Well, you got to think of your lifestyle and your budget. Because some of these dogs need a lot of energy. So if you work all day away from home, it wouldn't be the right dog. Some are more couch potatoes. Yep. Um, and budget. Some dogs cost more. They have to be groomed every six weeks. Yeah, we discovered that. The, the, the vaccinations and the grooming yes. and the food. Good food. Yeah, and you got to pay attention because, gosh, 80000 a week are getting put down. That number's too high. Yeah. So it's great wow. you're having these animals on. Aww. We want to get homes for them. So, so tell us about yes. our first dog Okay, here. this is Curly. He's two years old and he's a poodle mix and he has a great set of hair. All the ladies love a dog or a man with a head of hair, although <laughs> Boris, Thanks a lot. you are very sexy. Thanks, so, Doc. Uh, Thank you. Now, Curly is waking up in style on a Bailey Nasco bed that looks luxurious, has originality and comfort. She's also wearing a lovely little dog wrapper coat by Bailey Nasco. Look at you, Curly, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> Doc, uh, tell us about our next dog. Okay, then we've got Daisy over Hi, there. Daisy. Hi, Daisy. She's so sweet. She's 10 years old. She is a purebred Rottweiler, and her is, I'm a classic, and I'll never go out of style. That's, That's right. right. Um, what's sad is that her owner became ill, and the children couldn't care.